Sumbandila is a scholarship program which selects extraordinary children from disadvantaged backgrounds and gives them a high quality secondary and tertiary education alongside a strong mentorship program with both academic and psychosocial support. Sumbandila aims to create future leaders and entrepreneurs who will go back into their communities and affect change for other children like themselves and hopefully for the nation. I just went behind the tracks. I just sneaked through the border and got my way out, forced my way in South Africa. Tendai did not come to Sumbandila in the same way as the other students. He was found on the streets by the Catholic Church and referred to us by one of the Catholic fathers who believed in his potential. Tendai grew up in Zimbabwe, in the rural village of Kodoma. His mother left at a young age and he and his siblings had to fend for themselves under the care of an extremely abusive father. I felt like I was a distant cousin, even with my father. There was not the bonding, that connection. I just felt like I was just alone. When Tendai's father refused to allow him to continue with his studies, Tendai took to the streets and sold little bottles of milk to pay for his school fees. With soaring costs and inflation in Zimbabwe, this little business was no longer profitable, and he knew that he had to escape his father if he wanted to survive and continue his education. Believing in possibilities in South Africa, he hatched a plan to run away. Yeah, everyone thought I was crazy. They thought, what is this 13-year-old talking about wanting to go to South Africa? Because other people who were like in their 20s, they couldn't muster the courage of just leaving the country, going somewhere where you know no one. He had never left his own village, and he relied on snippets he had overheard in conversations to find his way to the train station and stow away on two different trains for two days until he finally reached the border. So I jumped on that train, I had no money, and I hid in the toilet and traveled all the way from my place to Blue Air. He crossed into South Africa illegally, walked for 50 kilometers barefoot, and then lived on the streets until the Catholic Church found him. From here, he was referred to Sumbandila by Father Frank, who recognized his extraordinary potential. He was awarded a full residential scholarship to attend Ridgeway College. It's hard to believe in someone who's just coming from the street, take them and put them through an expensive school, believing that they will do well, that takes a huge leap of faith, I think. When I got accepted at Ridgeway College, for the first time I could dream again about having a clear future because I'd lost hope of all that. On the Sumbandila program, Tindai thrived physically and academically, but the emotional scars took much longer to heal. Having never set eyes on a computer, Tindai became an expert in both hardware and software and poured himself and his pain into learning about these extraordinary machines. I was really fascinated by how much you could accomplish, especially with programming, building programs out of nothing, maybe especially educational programs. Tendai is now studying programming and design in Pretoria. When one considers all the things that could have gone wrong after that fateful morning when he ran barefoot from home with one pair of shorts and a t-shirt, it is a miracle that this boy is where he is today. But it is also a testament to his absolute determination and belief that he would succeed. I need to succeed because, again, that's my main focus. I want to be a professional programmer working for big companies and making a huge difference to the computer world. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful tool that can change the world. Please help Sumbandila to help extraordinary children like Tendai so that he too, in the future, can help other children like himself and show the way. <laughs>